A former hospital executive pleads not guilty to charges tied to threatening his former boss. And this comes less than 24 hours after he told NBC4 Investigates Jamie Ostroff he did what he's accused of doing. <laughs> and Jamie joins us now to explain. And yes, please do explain. Yeah, yeah so we'll start from the beginning here. Hoyle Bo Bowman is the former executive director of the Adena Health Foundation, and he was arraigned this morning on charges of menacing and telecommunications harassment. The subject of that alleged harassment? Adena Health CEO Jeff Graham, who for months has been facing questions from his community about sexual misconduct allegations against doctors, along with other concerns with hospital management. I wasn't. Bo Bowman tells me he was blindsided in December when Adena Health CEO Jeff Graham fired him as head of the hospital's foundation, a role he had held for three years. Out of anger, I did, I did something stupid. I did probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Below a post on a community news forum critical of Adena Health, Bowman says he wrote these comments, sharing the location of Graham's home and suggesting someone shoot Graham and his wife. Somebody should put a bullet in my head, uh, in my wife's head. Graham told me about those comments when I sat down with him in February before Bowman was charged. Um, I'm not scared. Um, it, you know, you can't worry about, you can't worry about what might happen tomorrow. It's all hate. It's just nothing but hate. And, uh, uh, we're just tired of it. But there is one thing Bowman denies. When he was let go, Bowman says he was told it was because he had created a toxic work environment. I was absolutely floored because, Jamie, that's that's not who I am. I'm not a toxic person and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to justify what I did out of anger. I, I'm just a human, you know, I'm just a normal person trying to trying to live my life. And, and I'm sorry. Now, Bowman told me earlier this afternoon that he was advised by the public defender to plead not guilty. So that is why he ultimately ended up doing that. Now, in a statement today, a spokesman for Adena Health said the hospital is grateful for the work of the Ross County Sheriff's Office in identifying a suspect, but they are saddened by what happened.